Hey guys, I'm Phoenix here and welcome to Elite Dangerous. Now, the purpose of this video is to show people how the radar in the buggy works. Because it turns out, not many, well, there are some people out there that don't know how the radar in the buggy works. It's just this thing that's in front of them and it spills out some meaningless information. But it isn't really very well explained in the game. So let's try and change that, shall we? Now what we see here is two different sizes of objects. And we can tell that there are two different sizes of objects because of how high they are, are up on the radar screen. So the one right down the bottom, which is sort of in, uh, let me just move over here, in this sort of direction, it's a very small object. It's most likely a, a rock that contains a material that you would use for synthesis or for crafting advanced equipment or engineering. This sort of stuff is, well, it's this stuff. It's, it, it, it's literally sort of usually something like carbon or chromium or, you know, something reasonably small. Then we have larger objects, which are over here. These are sort of midway up. These are going to be things like canisters, skimmer sites. You might even find sort of small geological uh, survey type of things. And also data points, which will grant you credits that you can then redeem in, em in, the em in Empire or Federation Space or the other one, which name I, I always forget, but or independent or it will tell you anyway, it will tell you where you can redeem those and then you fly into that space and you can redeem it there. The satellites aren't usually guarded by anything, but the commodities are. Then it's just a case of finding it. So what we see here is actually we've got two groups of canisters because this, this mark has split off. And we've got one over here and then we've kind of got one somewhere over here somewhere. And all we do at this point is we have a look at the wreckage, which uh, obviously has split off. And there should be a canister over here, because I left one over here. <laughs> and, it, oh, it might be behind that wreckage there. So obviously you do need your cargo scoop down. Uh, you will need the canister in question targeted. And it's just then a case of seeing if you can find what's been left behind. Here we go. So here we've got a canister of consumer technology. We can scoop it up, it's legal salvage, it tells us so, and then we can take it back to our ship. However, I do also want to have a quick look over here, because this will also show basically how you do it. So we've got our, our thing here, it's sort of spread out, and by doing little corrections it will sort of narrow together. And you might get a little bit more information as you go. And we want to be aiming about here, and I've just realised what it's actually picked up. That's of course picked up my ship, which is over in this direction, as you can see by the green marker. And so I can follow it in to find where my ship is. If I didn't have the green marker, or even if I was hunting down another ship that's on a planet, because you do get ships that land on planets, and sometimes they're wanted. So actually, as a bounty hunter, if you've got a bounty hunting ship, you might just be taking a break on a planet, find a wanted ship, then you can cool down your ship and blow it away. That's options that you have. And there's an awful lot to find on planets. And it's not just Guardian sites and Lost sites. And maybe at some point I will show you a Lost site, because they are kind of awesome, or a Guardian site. But for the moment, uh, that's been my short tutorial on how to use the buggy radar. It's a really useful tool and it's not really very well explained anywhere. So with that, I will say thank you very much for watching. I hope this has helped someone and I will see you next time.